This is a HeadGum Original. That was interesting. Yeah. The it opening like that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would be disappointed if I was sitting out there. Yeah. Right. The slow reveal, and it's like Jeff, yeah. and then me, and then Danny, yeah. Danny's the only one I'd be excited to see. Woo! <laughs> they did the wave. Yeah. You just got a haircut today. Thank you for noticing. Yes, mm. I did. Yeah. How much are you paying for your haircuts nowadays? I cut myself. Good man. How much are you charging yourself? <laughs> My happiness. Damn, I think I, I mean, should have tipped him I don't that. get haircuts. Really? Yeah. You're just growing it and growing it and doing it well, or how does that work out? <laughs> yeah, I guess whatever you just said. What about <laughs> <laughs> What about just a trim? You're not even trimming? I had one trim in the last three years, and I think it was oh. like $80. Damn. Yeah. I'm finally paying the pink tax. You look good, though. <laughs> Thanks. I actually really need to fucking hear that. Is that a new outfit? What's the outfit? Like, what's the vibe? Oh, it's a new scarf. New scarf, new vans. <laughs> right? Um, toe point. No, it's 10.30. <laughs> it's 10.30 in LA is 4.15 a.m. anywhere else. Literally. Yeah. 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 People don't go out like they do in New York here. You remember <laughs> a 10 minute set on that? <laughs> <laughs> what else is different? I mean, sh- even the Weather fact that we kind sure. of filled the middle section is pretty impressive. Yeah, yeah I mean, the crowd itself is hot. Yeah, very fun. <laughs> because right. the theme, sorry, the yeah. theme sorry. Is, is spring break, right? Yep, which is classic. I mean, it's May 17th, and when this comes <laughs> yeah. out, it'll be June 29th, and yeah, let's talk about spring break. Do y'all have any crazy stories spring break? Do y'all, do y'all, go, do y'all go to spring break in L.A.? Well, no? Selena Gomez is here. We should say she was in the movie. <laughs> uh, I grew up in L.A., and I did not spring break because it was already, like, Hot perfect. year round. It so was like, already I just, we stayed indoors and watched MTV Spring Break. That Ooh. was my spring break. I can only imagine you in front of a like a, a big ass like small, box yeah, TV. really yeah. small TV. Yeah. Spring bling yeah. goes, you know, comes on like hot in here, like yeah. like thongs. It's 1998. <laughs> black women, Cisco's fucking hot and dancing. I'm 15 years old. You like can't stand first, up. You're like, yeah. oh, I can't stand up. <laughs> March 31st, 1997, and I'm fucking hard as a rock. You were a huge fan of the West Coast Custom Show, so you had yes, your first my was ride. A, Mi- a Miata. Yeah, that and, was pimped. Yeah, really. But he, he didn't have the money to pimp it out fully, so he just took those like hats with a spinner on it. Yeah, and I put them on the tires. You put them on the tires. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yep. Exhibit himself put them on my tires. No, that, none of that is true. Jeff's a habitual liar. It's disgusting. It's uncouth. It's uncanny. It's not necessary. It's unneeded. It's undanny. It's undanny. <laughs> but you went to spring break. You did like legit Florida spring breaks. Yeah. Anyone here from Florida? No. I feel much safer. Oh. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Anyone on this watching this on YouTube been in Florida? No. Uh, Flo- Leave a comment spawn. now. Yeah. I oh, know, right? We'll wait. Daytona. Daytona. Oh, that's a crazy part of the world. Daytona. Oh my God. They make fucking. Aliens in the Daytona. Um, I spent I spent two spring breaks in Panama City Beach, okay, <laughs> Florida. How was this like college style? Yeah, college. Break? Yeah. Okay. But Panama's kind of place you you really don't need ever need to go once. I went twice. Oh. <laughs> what was the second year like? It, not fulfilling. Yeah. Because <laughs> you never went back. After it was that. like chasing the heroin high of Panama City. It just yeah. wasn't like. And, all right. <laughs> I was a lot of black dude. I don't know. This it was, was, was it was a crazy time. <laughs> <laughs> why you do you want to one of these like fucking through. elaborate? <laughs> Just know that it was crazy. It was awesome. Yeah. 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 Of, I'm trying to filter myself. Like a lot of black. My, I'd like to hear yeah. it all, unfiltered. A lot of tequila. I did not drink tequila because of spring break mm-hmm. until like literally a year ago. What, was this college or high school? College. Oh, I'm, not, I'm not a fucking psychopath. I, was <laughs> <laughs> I, like I didn't go anywhere for spring break in college. I just stayed on campus and slept. Interesting. Really? Just <laughs> cried? Like, you can go home? I, I, I mean, I'm from Cleveland, and I went to school out here, so go home for that much. It's just not I mean, worth it's, it. It's 10 days, dog. You could have... <laughs> Yeah, I guess I fucked up. I don't know. I should have gone home. It's low-key a long-ass time, though. You should have went home to see your parents, though. <laughs> 
Would that, you go to Cleveland in March? Of like, course no. not. No, 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 yeah, no, no, that's no. a reverse spring break. <laughs> no, so no, no. winter Again, hibernation. You're here and it's perfect. Got to do chores and shit. Oh my yeah. god. I had to wash my dad's Buick. Ooh. And he, I'm in, yeah, I'm getting a BFA, and I had to like shine his fucking shoes. He look at you while you did it. Like I'm so disappointed in this fucking. <laughs> he wouldn't even do me the dignity. <laughs> He said, until you have a Bachelor of Fine Arts, you won't look your dad in the eye. <laughs> Was he a real... Did he fuck with finance? Or I mean, well, not finance, but fuck... Fine you. arts? <laughs> fine arts. Yeah. 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 No, he's, su- he's supportive enough. He likes the movies. Oh, okay. I so don't he, make them. Okay I do stuff it. like this, so I guess he's a little disappointed. Yeah. Does he know you look like this? Does he know you're dead? <laughs> you know what? This is actually true. So he's like, he's very Catholic. And so... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> When I first started growing my hair out, he was not a huge fan. And then one day it just switched and he was like happy about it. And I was like, so it doesn't bother you the long hair? And he was like, well, no, like Jesus had long hair. Wow. Nice. And I was like, a nice Midwest As long as nice. you'll look me in the eye. Yeah. yeah. So it's like bad, 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 bad. Jesus is length, good. Yeah. But then you wear it up in some sort of. I, I doubt Jesus did that, right? Well, There's he, no yeah. way Jesus rocked a man bun. No. <laughs> he Let didn't end up putting it up. Well, he had a claw clip at a certain point. Really? But it ended up being a crown of thorns. <laughs> <It's>, what? <laughs> Holy shit, Jeff's Catholic too. <laughs> Lock the doors. <laughs> We're going to indoctrinate everybody here. I knew a pretty cool guy. Uh, well, I was just doing a Jesus thing. Uh, <laughs> this is the 10 p.m. energy. If we yeah, had done yeah. this at 7, we would have been firing on all cylinders. Yeah, like it's hard to eat dinner, wait two hours, and then perform. If that yeah. makes sense. I was talking to Anya and Katie backstage, and I was like, "Do I reek of barbecue?" Yeah, because I ate barbecue before a show. <laughs> I had a turkey burger with That's barbecue sauce on it. Sauce and meat, a lot of meat before a what? show is crazy. <laughs> Somebody said, "Ah, oh. <laughs> yeah, it is a weird thing." Why did you? Where? where what barbecue did you go to? Mess hall. That's Kitchen. not a barbecue. Yeah, I heard this part. What is it? That's also, did, is everyone here in LA local, or do people travel for this? They're here. People laughing at the idea of traveling. <laughs> Nobody, here. Nobody's further than a three mile radius from yeah. this theater. But nobody Did anybody come here from Hollywood, all the way from West Hollywood, perhaps. Guilty. Yeah. Yeah. Hollywood <laughs> Hills, but yeah. <laughs> do you live in the hills? No. So why do you dress like that? What is your address? <laughs> yeah, the bandana's throwing me out. I was trying to be mean by the bandana. It's kind of weird. Like, what's. What are you covering up, dog? <laughs> I want to say a hickey, but it's really just fibromyalgia scars. <laughs> <laughs> Good uh, stuff. It's spring looks, break, you know? Yeah. So you never went on any spring breaks ever? No. <laughs> no. You went to Florida. I went to like the Fort Myers area, like I said, backstage. With your family. What was your idea of party in college? Was it like, oh, we're going to be behind the stage and stay up all night? What was like, what my idea of partying in college was probably like at post improv show Ooh, parties. Yeah. Yeah, where like everybody paid $5 to be in a backyard. I mean, the, the scene at USC was bad. Like everybody it really? charged money. Yeah. You, they charged students $5 to go to everybody would call them fundragers because everyone had a club. <laughs> fundragers. That's yeah. pretty good, actually. That's no, disgusting. it's not. Well, I'm just saying, it's a pretty lucrative idea. So we should charge for this show. We do. Really? More than $5. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> now I'm finding out about this. Oh, my God. Um, we got a great show for you guys, though. Woo-hoo! Stacked lineup, stacked cast. Yeah. We've got John Garbage. Yeah, that's not his name. Gabrus. Ben Roadhouse. Yeah, all right. You don't have to say everybody. Let's just introduce the next Stephen two. Stephen Rice coming. Pilaf. That's <laughs> no, 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 not their names. <laughs> you guys say it then. Who's coming up first? The first comedians are very, very funny. I'm a huge fan. Make some noise right now. Get the energy out. Get the energy out. Get the energy out. <laughs> For Robbie Hoffman and Rachel Kelly. <laughs> How's it going, faggots? Woo! Yes. Mm-hmm. Are any of you that? Yeah. That's awesome. Us too, in our, in our own way, you know. It's you about guys. spring break. Yeah, yeah. I had a couple ideas about it. I don't it. think I did spring break in Canada. I went to high school in Canada. Oh. We had, you know, what we had we had Pesach off. We had Passover off. Did you go to a Jewish school though? Yeah, we had Pesach off, so it was like spring break, but like not fun or anything. Because you're not supposed to do yeah, that. So you're you kind of starving and. I liked when Passover was during the school time because then, you know, I'm like, oh, I can't have that. You know, oh, you're one attention. of those Jews. Of I hate course. those Jews. I was kosher 24-7, but then suddenly Passover, everybody's fucking Jewish. Oh, 
what are you gonna do? I can't have it. All okay, so again. what did, what did you do on spring break? Girls gone wild. You show your tits. I try. You want to do that now? Reenact? No, I can't do that. It's I'll disgusting. Do it. Okay. Yeah, she. All right. I um I always try to have sex during spring break because that was the only thing with that, a man. Of course, with a man. That's disgusting. It's Rachel. what I was trying to do at the time. And this one. But time, you have your vaginismus. I have vaginismus. <laughs> you guys heard of this? Does anyone have it? Everyone's upset. You know what? it's psychological? It's not uh, enough. You have it? I have bad juices. What is that going for you? How is that? It's actually improved. Big Why? Um, because I don't know. Lying. You're lying. <laughs> no, you I, I heard on a podcast. It's no, psychological because you had such a repression. Oh, okay, but also you have to go to physical therapy. You get fisted every day for every for two years. Every day for every week for two years. <laughs> You're a pervert. That's why you said you had vaginismus, whatever. No, no. Yeah, because I wanted to get, get a regular fisted. bitch to fist you. <laughs> no, so, okay, but let me just say this. So I, one time, I'm on a plane, and don't start saying, oh, you know, Yeah, you, you grew, grew up with money. I, I know did not. I 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 went to Wesley, and we get it. Where does your mother live? Where does your mother live? Huh? No. And then Where does she, she live? Subsidized housing. Where? In what neighborhood? Lively in Chelsea, in New York City. But what are you supposed to do? It's subsidized. What am I doing with that? Huh? So listen. Okay, go ahead. Sick I'm of on you. On a plane for once in my life. Jesus Christ! You never been Window on a plane. Window seat. <laughs> no. Yeah. And I try. It's a. It's an international flight. And of course. Cool. Yeah. I go to Europe. Listen I go to, to me. Paris. It's when my. Cause my you went to Paris. Yes, because my it mom. It was Paris. My mom. <laughs> what? What my I do? mom is a French teacher. She works. Shut up! No. Move on. <laughs> you own a condominium in Chelsea, Manhattan. Enough with this. It's subsidized. And you were in Paris with Listen a family vacation. The point is, all I'm trying to say is, I was on this plane. It's international, so a lot of the people on the plane don't speak English. I found the I one. I fix other my shorts. All right. Okay. okay, go ahead. I found the one other teenage guy on the flight, and I tried to ask him if he wanted me to give him head in the bathroom. Right. And he didn't speak English, so I kept trying to do, you know, international sign for blowjob, whatever. And I thought he was going to go in the bathroom because I was walking. Because you like to give blowjobs because you think it's like that's how to get the boys. You were telling me this. Exactly. You're and I'm gay, by the way. No, we know. I know, but you keep saying basically that I'm not, but I'm telling them that I am, and you have to believe it. Coming you have me. such a repression that your vagina closed up. No, <laughs> I, I was, I literally, because I was concerned for you, I actually listened to this clip. I want you to know how I care for you as a friend. And, um, and so actually it's all psychosomatic. It's fake. Vaginismus is like ADHD. It's not real. No, it is. It's, it's something, you got to get it together, read a book, figure it out. <laughs> So what do you want me to do? There's nothing I can do about it. Yeah, if there's something you could do. You could relax, get wet, put some porn on, and you have no vaginismus. <laughs> what? Okay, uh, he so knows. No, but what do you... You got it. Come on. You think that that's right? What you I saying? know it's right. I'll, I kind of... You know, I'll do it. Sure, I'll do it. Whatever, now you're a dyke. Nobody's going in there anyway. So what are you watching on... What are you watching on... That's true. Well, people try, and I say, no, that's not She's the thing. girl. By the way, I happen to be very in love. And um, <laughs> and the girl, she wants to. I might let her try. Really? Yeah. The, the, what, the time that happened to me, whenever, whenever a girl wants to do it, I'm like, ah, because like I'm gay, okay. <laughs> but really, let me just tell you, I'm not gay. Right. So I'm explain. Like basically, like so. You're wearing a polo. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> I get that. Like so, basically, I'm gay. Like say, basically, I'm not gay. So basically, I'm like this type of girl, but I date like a girl like. One that you would want to date, you know, with the hair and everything. I don't know if we have any hair. Like, the nice ones, right? So basically, there's like a boyish one, and there's like a girl one, so it's like one and one, it works again, right? Like, I live a very heteronormative yes, lifestyle. Yes, absolutely, basically, 100%. The only gay Denying thing about my me... my medical reality. Yeah, like, like, I live a heteronormative, regular lifestyle. I'm just like you. <coughs> basically, the only gay thing about me is that I'm gay, but right. other than that, I'm not even gay. Okay. So when a girl wants to do it, I remember my ex, she's like, and I was like, okay, are you going to tell me when you're going to go in? I can brace myself. With she's a like, finger or what? No, just a dildo. And I'm like, ah, I don't want to. But this that girl is so hot. I'm like, you know what? Whatever. <laughs> Let's lube her up. Has she done it before? I no. can't do it. 
I can't you be know. the penetrated. I no, 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 I can't do it's it. It's not right. I don't know. For I'll me, it's not it. right. I might let her do it missionary so I can kiss her. Aww. Aww. <laughs> like, if I can see her, I don't it's want this. It's so weird to hear about you being in love, because she's so, you know, cold. And then... <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, come on, you know. No, but then they get just get like, I'm so beyond happy. in love. Is that nice? Who's in love? What a feeling. Yeah, Do you guys? Well, we were talking about this. Do you think that if it's love, you know immediately? Like, come on. I'm that type of person. And I'm trying to figure this out for myself because I could date someone five years, hate them, and be like, let's give it time. Yeah. You know? Because I don't know. Everybody's telling me, give it time. The past few relationships, it's always girls saying, like, oh, you know, that I'm withholding. Yeah. You know, that they like me more than them. And it is true. They did like me more than them. So I don't, I can't lie, All right. you know. And then, but everybody's like, "Give it time. It's a good thing. She's so hot. She's smart." Ba ba ba. And I don't know. It's just not there. When oh. I know, it's excellent. That's excellent. amazing. Yeah, you and know, I, I wish it for you, but I don't know in your state with all your issues. <laughs> you know, no, if, I if, you, if you have I the understand. time, because you have mental issues I and you severe have severe mental illness issues. Yeah, I don't work through it. Can't you're sleep. Klepto, well, you're a kleptomania. Reformed. You're not allowed. Yeah. No, she's not allowed in my Who house. Who here but. has more money than me? Probably. You have a lot of money. You how much you spend? No, how much you spend on a smoothie at Air uh, One? Tw- but it's a how much you spend? How she, much you that's spend? Wifey, that's how much wifey. did you spend? USD twenty one. Occasionally, um, I've been known. I'm having a bad day. I walk to Air One. I say, "Give me the Haley." You know, <laughs> let me have the Haley. It's sweet as can be. This girl hot like Haley. Oh. I know it's crazy. You guys, one day you guys are gonna find out. I don't even know how it's happened to me. I got no dick. I got nothing going on, but uh, uh, it's working. <laughs> We're coming a lot. Is it funny when I'm happy? No. <laughs> what do you guys? What? Are well, you guys? spring break. What did you do? Yeah, I, I didn't have just spring break. Say. They told you told me it's themed spring break. I never had a break. All right, I'll tell you what. <laughs> Well, the other thing that you're I going always... to Paris, you're doing this and that. Oh, what Dynasty happened? Typewriter just mentioned us in their story. That's well, so I nice. think we're doing well. What and do you we guys got think the of light us? As well. Oh, by the way, we have okay, we have the light. Let's do our promotion. You don't think we have a successful podcast coming up? Wake <laughs> up. Okay, we haven't released any of the episodes because we'd both be canceled for them. Plus, I was booed at the WGA meeting for asking some questions. So it's not a good not a good time right now. But we will be releasing the episodes eventually, um, yeah. and we have a live uh, we have a live podcast show which she wants to come to. By the way, in New York, she's gonna fly June to June twenty. So she's flying two days. I'm gonna get us the nicest room you've ever seen. Where the Jane Hotel? I'm not telling you. Believe you me. You always say it the one I that looks say. like a boat. Yeah, it does. I like yeah, boats. That's nice. <laughs> okay, guys. So you know, spring break. Woo! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, 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 Jeff. Mitch and Norse Robbie and Rachel. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to come from over there as like a... And then what happened? They didn't give and a fuck. And then there's no way to get back there. <laughs> they didn't yeah. give a motherfuck. They, yeah. they, they saw you, they were like, oh, he's coming back out. Yeah. They didn't, yeah. Just random baby I, crip. I <laughs> <a> chant <laughs> into silence. <laughs> Some baby crib is pissed off right now. What the fuck is my... That was my fear. That was my fear with the bandana. But I thought if I stayed in the valley, it'd be fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Next comedian's very funny. Yeah. <laughs> I love we Next keep, Noise. We keep introducing people on the sourest <laughs> note of the interludes. <laughs> we're fucking... We're talking about... Yeah, I don't know. We're just, it's being recorded. Casey, yeah. get this out. All right, Next <laughs> Comedian. The next two comedians are very funny. I'm big fans. <laughs> Make some noise right now for Steph Tola and Amanda Weinberg. Yes. Whoa. Look at us. Wish they did more time, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> We're just back there. We're just standing there sweating. Just sweating. Our, yeah. Our tits were touching. Our tits were touching. Yeah. Spring break. That's what you do, right? You take your nipples out and you twig them on somebody else. I have no idea. I've actually never experienced. I've never once. We don't do it in Canada. We don't have spring or break in Canada. You don't have break or spring. No, we have neither of those things in Canada. I'm Muslim, so I don't know what either of those are. 
the more perfect pair. Yeah. <laughs> um, we've traveled a lot, though. We have. We're gonna we're gonna make this about traveling because do you guys do spring break? We're too old, right? What do you do? You go to fucking Florida. Did anyone and you watch actually your dad do that? Sit like, in the sea. What do you do? It's weird. Go and get. Oh, like, that's normal. You guys watch your dad bathe in the sea. You guys are like, mm -hmm, yeah, we do that here. Bizarre. I felt like spring break was like a thing that was just in movies. Like it wasn't a real thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. But Bunch people actually went. Burnt white people not putting on enough sunscreen. I would have burned. You would have burned to a crisp. I would have lost my virginity, but I would have burned. Oh, yeah. I would have lost this, but to something weird in the sea. I would have been like playing in like a bit of coral. <laughs> I was like, I'm accident prone. I'm not trying to fuck things in the sea. You would have lost your virginity to coral? I probably would have been snorkeling around, and like, look at me, and then like a flip, and then like, ah, and like landed on something. They're like, what happened to the coral? It's all gone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Somehow oh, you're no, vaginal. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> we come home with the board, like, what do you got? And they're like, nothing. Coral is falling out. <laughs> TSA is like, uh, there's something going on down here. <laughs> Just pull out the most endangered yeah. species of coral. And it, is it coral sharp? Like, seven of my organs come out. I'm like, oh, I can't say goodbye. <laughs> this, is, this is too far. <laughs> I love that okay, we, we went, we went <coughs> in that direction. Yeah, yeah, I don't know why. But speaking of the airports and TSA. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, uh, I'm Canadian and Hobbin was out there doing um, a TV show. We can mm -hmm. talk about, I don't like talking about it, whatever. It doesn't matter. And we ended up flying home together on the same flight. <laughs> we're in the, was it the Toronto airport? No, no, no. We were at oh, the, oh, uh, Houston. Leaving Houston, Houston to go to Toronto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And <laughs> this is so maybe unfunny. But we think it's hilarious. But it's my favorite thing that's ever happened. It really is. So we're hungover as fuck. We're in a bad mood. It was a horrendous festival. We got paid two dollars and a slice of wet pizza. Yeah, and it's seven a.m. and we're in the airport waiting for the flight <laughs> to start boarding, and there's this little bug that's crawling on my suitcase, and it's crawling down the zipper line, you know, down the middle, and we're just watching. And we're it. watching, and I was like, "What are you doing?" We're like, why is there a, a bug? There's a bug in here. There's a, get the bug off your bag. Get the bug off your bag. And I'm like, no, I just want to see what happens. <laughs> it's a little stink bug, you know? And it crawls down the zipper and it goes in the <laughs> fold and it just disappears. God. So he starts like rattling it. We're like, get the bug out of the bag, man. I just pick it up and start shaking it. And everyone's staring at us. And I'm just like, there's a bug. There's a bug in the bag. So he brings the bag on with the bug in it. So now the bug is on the plane. So we're laughing. This is the funniest thing that's ever we're happened. We're dying laughing. So we're losing our mind just thinking that he's now... We're like, there's a bug coming to Canada. He's about to endanger my family. <laughs> he's bringing this bug across the border. It's like the greatest Pixar movie of all time. <laughs> <laughs> just this bug is in an airport, and then suddenly it's like wakes up, and it's like... What the fuck? The Freezing? Fuck? Yeah. Anyway. But we were just laughing, the picturing him like getting to the getting to like go the the whatever the fuck border mean like do anything to Claire? Actually, yeah, I do, man. There's there wasn't a check there's mark. A bug. There's a bug. You guys, you guys don't find it funny. No, it's, not funny. it's not funny. No, it's it's not even you had to be there. It just like <laughs> it's not funny at all. It just but isn't funny. We think funny. it is. We went to Dubai together. That was funny. We went to Dubai. We they went booked... to Dubai to do comedy, and guess what? Well, they booked me. I was like, oh, that makes sense. I'm like a Muslim. I get it. And then they're like, Steph's going. And I'm like, <laughs> me? Some of you don't know me. I'm very disgusting. I mean, the coral thing probably gave it away. That's, that's my brand of humor, putting I stuff in, pulling we stuff went, out. I was sending you... Email, I was sending you websites that are like, here's what you'll get arrested for. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You're like, you can't say this, you can't do this, you can't, you can't look at men like this. Like, yeah, it's like, it, and a lot of the rules are real. It's like, you can't really, you can't give the middle finger, like, they'll arrest yep. you for that. No weed at all. No weed, but alcohol's legal there. Prostitution seems to be oh, fine. Yeah, yeah. Like Looking at a, uh, the guy's schlongs in the old, uh, in the religious in garb. The religious garb. <laughs> yeah. That's not a crime. <laughs> Tell you what, you can, they're not wearing anything underneath, too. You can see the whole thing. You the can. whole tippity toppity too. The whole tippity toppity too. Couple loose breezes. How was I not arrested? <laughs> I don't know. So you'll never guess, they hated me. I bombed every show violently, violently. She says she bombed. It wasn't like that. It was that. Yeah, the, what, is, all, what is it called to get no laughs or no reaction? This bombs bomb. What guys no, no, no. They, they like were, right now. <laughs> there was a religious shame. Like, they didn't know that they could laugh. Like, it was... 
They've never seen a woman talk, really. <laughs> and, I, yeah. and, then, and, then, and then it's not just a woman talking, it's Steph. Like the most inappropriate. She's just walking out there and she's like, ah, I dip my lips in the sea and my pussy looks like stromboli. And I'm... <laughs> Hey, can I use that? I actually didn't say Stromboli. That's funnier than my bit. Can I use Stromboli? Wait, what is your bit? You said it looks like a... Uh, I said like an, uh, a pastrami a, an sandwich. Arby's beef and cheddar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Funnier? Okay, good, 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 good. And the, audience is, the audience is literally just like... They're like, I don't know what that <laughs> thing is or why it's not in prison. Like, why is that thing up there? So we were we went hard though. We came in. We fucking... Also, the booker uh, was a woman. She oh, fucking yeah. hated me so badly. She like... Remember the night we went on that, that boat cruise? She took she captured us on this like her birthday party boat cruise. First of all, okay, her name's Gail. <laughs> and uh, Gail's she Gail's not book, a comedian. She she well That's, she did she opened the shows well, though. So so <laughs> she opened the shows. <laughs> and the comedian, yeah. So she was like uh, first of all she she messaged us on WhatsApp and was like Hey, if you guys are coming, make sure, you know, buy a bottle of alcohol at the duty free cuz alcohol is so expensive. So you're going to want alcohol in a bottle in your room. And, and she, we yeah, she said this a hundred times. We're like, okay, stock up. We're like, uh, yeah, okay, well, I guess we should bring alcohol because a drink is going to cost like $50. $500, yeah. And we get there and it's just normal drink prices and we're like, oh, she's an alcoholic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we both have these like fucking 26ers of fucking gin in our room for no reason. Just so much whiskey in my room. <laughs> And anyway, she opens this, so it was called, uh, what was the t name of the tour? Laughter Factory, was that what it was? Oh, yeah, it was called the Laughter Factory. Yeah. <laughs> and she comes out, and she's like, all right, are you ready for the filthiest night of comedy? <laughs> And she would, she would just be And then like, she would tell a joke that made no sense. She'd be like, like you're foremost getting fucked. And then a wife comes in. Ah, and the crowd's like, what? <laughs> like, nobody reacted. And then she'd go, I'm oh, first a woman. Ah, and then I'd be like, hello. Oh, and they'd be like, ah, the whole time. And then she would introduce me and she'd be like, this is the greatest comedian we've ever seen. Literally, full credits. Me, a woman from LA. I'm like, I'm from Canada, actually. Every time I came up, it was a fucking nightmare. We go, okay, I go, I go buy this fucking necklace. Okay, so I, oh, I never buy gold. Everything I wear is f fake. I, I don't, you guys, gold people? We got a big gold crowd here. She's asking if you're Jewish. Yes, that's what, yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm like, I want to buy a necklace in Arabic that says Steph. So I'm all pumped up. We have to go. We go to the gold, like, district, and it's like. Oh, big ordeal. Huge ordeal. Everyone's trying to get you in to their little store. And we get sucked into this place. And she's like, I just want a necklace that says Steph. You know, and they make you write it in English, and then they send it to like some factory. Yeah, I don't know where they send it to, and they come back like, "Is this this is Steph?" Like, and yeah, they show you the Arabic, and they're yeah. like, "This says Steph." And I'm like, "Oh, okay, that says Steph." So I pay four fifty for this. Again, never paid more than twenty bucks for a necklace in my life. Walking around Dubai the next day, <laughs> someone's like, "Oh my gosh, who's Steve?" I go, "Who the fuck is Steve?" <laughs> <laughs> Someone tell me who Steve is. Like your necklace says Steve. Like, are you fucking kidding me? I'm walking around. Also, my ex-boyfriend's name is Steve, who my dad still talks to, so it's a whole fucking weird thing. And I'm like, now I'm gonna give this to my dad! It's this whole fucking psychotic thing. She wears it all the time. I too. have to! No one knows! <laughs> who reads it here? This guy's yawning. He hates our stories. Great, we love this. I thought the Steve bit was good! But it was kind of our spring break. It was, because we went to the water park. We went to the biggest... The, best, the biggest water park in the world. Biggest water park in the world. It's out on one of those, like, tree islands, you know? And um, a lot of Jews. Like, like a surprising <laughs> amount of Jews in Dubai at first. I was like, wow, that's kind of cool. Hasidic Jews at the water park. Butting the lines. When we can't say anything. They all had fast pass. Oh, did they? I was like, they're budding, and you're like, stop. Um, it wasn't. You thought it was just because they were Hasidic. I don't know. I was like, they can do what they want. <laughs> I wasn't gonna say anything. She nope. would be like, why are these children wearing thongs? And I would be like, what are you talking? About? <laughs> it was a lot of thongs. Like it was freaking me out. And I'm wearing like a full one piece with one labia hanging out. I'm like, let's go down the slide again. There's Hasidic Jews. They've got like sideburns hanging yeah. out. So. Yeah, they got the full girls. <laughs> But we had fun, and that was that. Yeah, what else did what we else do? What else we do in Dubai? You went skydiving. We, he spent, we spent all the money we made. <laughs> Let's tell him how much we made. We made it was $1,000 for... They flew us out. They put us up, and they were like, you get $1,000. We're out there for 10 days. It's like, you can't not spend $1,000. Yeah, it would be so home hard. In the hole. 
As soon as I land, I'm like, how much is skydiving? 600 bucks. I'm like, all right, done. <laughs> and then I did that on the Steve necklace, so that was done. Yeah. And then we drank ourselves stupid, and then I had discussed things. Oh, sex let's with talk about no, 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 no and I sound like this. And I'm like, hey, the water park is everyone's a dog. What the fuck? And the guy's like, Justin's with me. You're like, what is with this p woman? He's like, are you single? I'm like, yeah, oh, yeah. You want some of this? And he's like, oh yeah. What do you? Uh, what do you? And then he was like, going hard. Yeah, he was like, why are you? Why are you single? Yeah, very upset. I was like, look, I get laid. Don't ask me. I, I, I'm getting around. And his he's first, like, he was going, so you're divorced. Yeah, and I was like, no, I'm not. It's like, some man must have abandoned you. Yeah, I was like, no. She's like, no, I fuck all the time. Yeah. I love it. I'll fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, you, I come to America? Like, he wanted... He wanted me to marry him and come... He literally wanted... Oh, to Canada. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the golden ticket. I'm going back. I'm going to find this man. He's my soulmate. <laughs> okay, we have to go. Bye. Okay, bye. Thank you. Give it up for Stephen Amay! I resonated with that. The uh, I have to spend this much money on a trip. Are you good with money or not? What's your vibe? No, I yeah. barely have a Vanguard. <laughs> a Vanguard. <laughs> you barely have a like brokerage account. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. It's kind of sophisticated, low key. Yeah. I, I barely have a mutual fund. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, shout out to the WGA. This whole thing, all of you guys' oh, yeah. cash is not going to us. Yeah. <laughs> you totally forgot to mention that. Yeah. Um, so you guys important. are, by not crossing the picket line, helping Danny's future career. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Give it up for Danny owning a house. I don't, I don't own a house. <laughs> you just at laugh? some point. At some point. I don't own a house. I have a studio. I've actually yes. downsized in my life. <laughs> 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 I'm not doing great right now, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> and I thank you not to keep bringing it up. How much was the moped? Up. The moped was like... $550, but then it broke down once and I got it repaired mm. for $200. So all in all, I think I've probably, and with the helmet, yeah. I probably spent $850 on it. Now I'm trying to get $300 if anyone's interested in a broken helmet. <laughs> what? <laughs> Let them laugh. No one cheered. I know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no one cheered. That day. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Can we get this, you introduce the next comedian? Oh, yeah. Am I supposed to do that? <laughs> I, yeah, again, it, we have yeah, to. Yeah, we're hosting, no, we Jeff. have to end on a laugh. We have to end on a laugh. We have to end on one where everybody's like, ah, oh, that's oh, so good. Oh, make fun of your little fucking baby-ass scarf? Yeah, Jeff. <laughs> it's still a little... Yeah. 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 the biggest reaction. Yeah. Yeah. It's going for a very funny comedian. He's my friend's boss. Oh. Ooh. Max Silvestri. Woo! Give it up, Max. <laughs> Give it up for his friend's boss. That's how you get somebody. That's how you get the crowd on someone's side. You say they're somebody's boss. That feels good. <laughs> wow. Um, I'm also the only person here um, performing tonight that's alone. That's I'm a boss with no friends. What's up? I had a partner for the show. And then he's like, after a week, he was uh, Carmen Christopher, very funny comic. Don't clap. He's not here. <laughs> he was like, oh shit, I forgot. I'm going to Cabo for 10 days. I'm sorry, I've had the trip planned for a really long time. <laughs> and I actually have to cancel a bunch of stuff. And I was like, we're supposed to do a show together about spring break and you are taking a spring break as a late 30s man so I can perform alone. Very sad. I've never taken a spring break. Has, make noise if you also have it. <laughs> Great, really? Or are you just trying to make me feel better? Really? Never. Yeah, fucking, I had a job. Who the fuck takes a spring break? That sucks. Um, I wish I had. I wish I was the person that, like, had a big group of guy friends and, and just, like, we're, like, we're fucking getting dark <laughs> in Daytona, but I, like, worked an IT job part-time, and I'm also just not the sort of person ever in college or high school that had spring break energy. I was very much... I'm going to use this week off to post on rec.arts.sf.starwars.misc 
a cool free-for-all Usenet forum about Star Wars that I was kind of famous on in the late 90s, but... <laughs> But yeah, I'm just me, Max Silvestri. I'm not someone that like has dude friends and like does things like spring breaks. I did try to rebrand as a different person twice in my life. <laughs> it didn't stick. First, when I was a freshman in high school, I went to a new high school where I didn't know anyone and I found out it was like a boarding school, but I didn't like board there. And so all the kids like became friends in the first week, like jacking off in the shower together or whatever you do at a boarding <laughs> school if you live there. But I didn't know anyone, and they're all buddies, and so um, in the first day of school, I was sitting in the back row in a science class, and the teacher's reading the roles, and he's like, so I'll say your name, say you're here, and tell me what you want me to call you. If I say Victoria and you want to go by Vicky, let me know, but you can say whatever you want. If, if I call Michael and you want to be called Hammer, that happened a couple years ago, and we called him Hammer for four years, and like everyone laughs, and so he gets to me in the back row, I'm alone, much like at this show, a lot's changed. <laughs> And he's like, Maximilian Silvestri? And I say, hi, I'm here. Please call me Shaft. <laughs> Everybody, all the kids who I didn't know, turned around and looked at me, and I immediately started explaining. I was like, well, my middle name is Shaft. It's actually Ukrainian. It's my mom's maiden name, but I want you to call me Shaft. And the teacher who had to stick with his bit was just like, cool, you're Shaft. And... <laughs> I kind of had a little bit of buzz in high school for like 20 minutes because everybody was like, who the fuck is this kid who looked like me small that wants to be called Shaft? And I knew it was like kind of like a sex word. <laughs> I didn't know what you did with a Shaft. <laughs> and I also knew it was a movie in the 70s and I was like, that movie's cool. But I, I couldn't make it stick. But there's still like 70 people in the world that when they run into me will be like, what's up, Shaft? How are you? Like... <laughs> But I abandoned it. And then when I started doing stand-up, I was like, maybe I should go by Max Shaft, because that's like a name <laughs> that's cool. But I just feel like I couldn't, I, if I came out, you'd be very startled. I'm not <laughs> what a Max Shaft. Like, if a Max Shaft comes out, you expect him to have like a big leather duster and talk about how like he fucks people on deals <laughs> or whatever. Um, all of this is to say, no spring breaks, also, someone never had a bachelor party, which is the adult version of spring break. And I've been with my wife now for 11 years. We were married by my best friends who uh, are a gay man and a woman. I have no real straight male friend groups, but I kind of wish I did. And I feel like Max Shaft would have had a bachelor party. <laughs> Had I made that decision 15 years ago, I would have been a guy that had a pretty fucking epic, dark bachelor party <laughs> with a lot of old, twisted friends. And so what I want to read for you tonight quickly is just the email I would have sent <laughs> had I lived my adult life as Max Shaft to 25 friends and acquaintances. Okay, subject line. Get ready to get butt fucked. <laughs> What's up, you fucking absolute slits? As you know, I finally got trapped. And this July, you'll all get to watch as the Archbishop of Hartford, Connecticut chomps my donkey off in the eyes of Christ. But for now, I'm a free man. And on the weekend of May 14th in beautiful Scottsdale, Arizona, you're going to join me as I check a few things off the old fuck it list. I'm kidding. I love my fiance so much, and I'm thrilled her brother Bradley will be coming out for the weekend. A lot of you boys haven't met him, but I know you love him. Just don't mention the Montreal trip, LOL. <laughs> but seriously, the cops agreed. It wasn't my fault because my eyes were closed when that girl fell. <laughs> Not sure if you clicked the link, but the house we've got is absolutely sick. In a real I'm pinching myself moment, the house belongs to none other than Joe Manganello. <laughs> Thanks to my best friend slash entertainment lawyer, TJ, for hooking it up. He also reps Joe, and Joe agreed to rent it to us at cost. Basically, at 3 k a night, we're just paying for utilities. <laughs> I met Joe once at TJ's poker night, and fuck, he is one of the smartest people I've ever talked to. I can't wait to see his house. He's got two room-sized golf simulators and a toilet that eats you out. He says we can't use it, but it's really nice to have. Speaking of TJ, he needs your NDAs docu-signed before you book your flights. It's all standard stuff. No need to read. Just slam down that Jimmy Hancock and know that whatever goes down at the Slit Palace fucking stays there. Again, this is not me. This is Max Shaft. Um, 
if you haven't been to Scottsdale, you're in for a treat. It's the best place on earth filled with the coolest people. <laughs> I know it's quite a trek for some of you. I'm looking at you, Dominique Strauss-Kahn, but trust me, Scottsdale is worth it. And we're getting the VIP experience. My boy Frankie Munez has the only <laughs> Formula One car in the Southwest with no seatbelts. It's actually super illegal. He says the ATF keeps trying to impound it, but good luck catching him. My boy clocked 250 miles per hour at the Mexican Grand Prix last year. And that was with his 11-year-old niece sitting on his lap. <laughs> Imagine how fast we'll be able to go without anybody's nieces sitting on our laps. <laughs> Speaking of VIP treatment, I'm calling in a lot of favors, and there's a reason the whole weekend is only like 2,600 each before airfare. <laughs> My boy Beans, as you probably know, is a massive influencer. He was a founding member of Piss House until that <laughs> bullshit New York Mag article came out. <laughs> Anyway, he's got a sponsorship deal with Spread, a men's only caffeinated mayonnaise. <laughs> so yeah, all our condiments will be free. You're welcome. We just have to post three times to the grid with the hashtag lay it on thick. <laughs> Food wise, I got us covered. We're gonna eat like kings. Friday night, we're gonna do dinner at the house, the Gooch and Caldwell. Two epic humans I met at the Black Cube Christmas party are coming in from Houston on a PJ and bringing in my absolute favorite subs in the world, yard-long clam parmesans from Uncle Chud's. I've been dreaming about them ever since I first had them at Gucci's mom's funeral. Saturday, we're gonna do a big kegs and eggs brunch at the house. It'll be 100 degrees out and we're gonna do Oktoberfest Sam's Adam, Sam Adams and super burnt Denver omelets jam-packed with red peppers and wet deli ham. I could pretend we'll do a big steakhouse dinner Saturday night, but Hunter's driving up from Mexico with a gallon Ziploc bag of the absolute worst cocaine in the universe. So if all goes to plan, by 3 p.m. on Saturday, the only thing we'll have an appetite for is taking pictures of ourselves holding guns and doing diarrhea. Speaking of that, please don't flush any paper down the toilets. The house has a septic tank, and I don't want Joe to think I'm a total shit creep. So we're going to dig a hole in the backyard and go in CVS bags, then drive them back to L.A. <laughs> A bunch of you have texted me directly, so just wanted to confirm. Murph found a non-woke strip club. <laughs> but no matter what happens or how drunk I get, please don't let me get a private dance. I can't do that to Julie. Also, because I caught something from my massage parlor. So right now my penis looks a little bit weird and a lot like a birthday cake flavored Quest bar. <laughs> I knew I just wrote that and I knew people wouldn't like that at all. Other than that, let's just have fun in paradise. Two little logistical things before I forget. There is a horse in the backyard named Cancel This. He's He's generally friendly, but he has a pretty major hot spot right now. So if you want a pet Cancel This, that's fine, but please don't take its bucket hat off. It's a prescription bucket hat. If everybody could sell me $3,000 tonight, that'd be huge. <laughs> Thanks to everyone for coming and for being so nice about all the bar stool stuff I got mixed up in. Didn't know that podcast deal when I said yes to it. For the record, when I said on the podcast I'm super into eugenics, I thought they were talking about a new type of CrossFit. Love, Max Shaft. Thank you guys very much. Happy spring break. Keep it going for Max Shaft. Give me Max Shaft. All right. and, uh, the clam sub he was talking about sounded pretty good, actually. Fire. All right. Oh, this is awkward. <laughs> How did... Where'd you come from? Well, did... I wanted to do, like, a whole crap, like, you know, to keep everybody's energy up, because there's only, you know... But the thing is, there's no hallway to get back there, so I had to go outside. Yeah. And around the block. Show his ID again. That was weird. Yeah, you took a lift. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I had to take a lift. I have a, st I have a theory. Okay. Like, we're spring break, vacations and shit. Mm -hmm. Are you out of breath, dog? You alright? I'm fine. I just, that was... It was wasn't a lot worth of, it? I knew no one would, like, yeah. like that. Yeah. He told him in the back, like, sure. <laughs> even less of a reaction than I yeah. thought. I honestly forgot it was going to happen. Same. <laughs> yeah, and then it was like, oh, yeah. 
<laughs> That's happening. And the timing was bad too. Right. It wasn't even like great. Like the timing oh. was as good as it gets. Yeah. <laughs> Are we asking about vacations? No, fuck me, my little Joseph. <laughs> It's not um, that funny anymore. Just talking about people. I don't know. Is there always that one extra horny dude on vacations? I, I want to know if there's for girl tri- like trips. Is it the same? Like, why is she so fucking <laughs> a very quick emphatic horny. yes? Yeah. and it's you. We should say it's you. Yeah. yeah. yeah really if you're on a trip and you can't spot the horny guy, yeah, because you're talking to the strip club. The guy at the strip club is like, I can't wait to go. He knows all the strip clubs in every fucking city. He's like, dog, you watch your dick hard in the Uber. <laughs> <laughs> in the Uber. <laughs> Uh, all right, we only got one act left. Yeah. Two very funny dudes. Woo. Put your hands together for Ben Rogers and John Gabriel. Woo. Woo. Hey, sorry, sorry, yeah, sorry. sorry, sorry. Ben Rogers and John Gabriel couldn't make it. They're cracking fucking Hollywood open with their business success. Yeah, they're too successful to show up. So you're stuck with us. I'm Skeezy B and this is Dr. G. How's it going? You might remember us from MTV's MTV's The Beach Beach House House 93. That was us. We were the hot tub guys in 93. We didn't, we weren't the main dudes. Our boy Eric Neese was the main guy out there. Uh, We're still boys with him. He just called us the other night. We talked him down from killing himself. A lot of the guy, a lot of the VJs we came up with were mostly just talking each other down from suicide. <laughs> it's a good support system we got. We kind of bounced around from network to network. We never fully made it as spring break, guys, but spring break never stopped for us. Yeah, dude, we never left Daytona, man. Once you do an MTV's beach house down in Daytona, the next year we did Spike TV's fuck apartment. And yeah, yeah. The, uh, year, the year after that, Spring Broken. <laughs> spring. <laughs> it didn't take off. They didn't pick it up. A lot of our friends uh, have moved on. We're, they were told, we were told a lot of our models were over age, which is something you don't get a lot in the yeah. business. <laughs> It's good to be back in L.A. Yeah, man, we haven't been out here since our big Joe Francis meeting in 1997. We came out to pitch some ideas to Girls Gone Wild. Yeah, that son of a bitch got us in his van. <laughs> got us fucking ideas. Yeah. And he took our clothes off, and then we gave him all these videos we had of women taking their clothes off. Yeah, we got ripped fucked this by up. Joe Frey. We've been fucked left We've been and right, left and right. I wanted to give Jimmy Kimmel a piece of my mind. He stole uh, girls on trampolines from us. He swears he bought it one night when we were wasted off a freelance sketch idea. I was like, we didn't pitch you shit. He's like, aren't you the Ziggy Zaggy, Ziggy Zaggy, oi, 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 guys? You guys remember the man show and MTV remember Spring that? Break, yeah, right? Yeah, we would have killed your diehard headgum heads. You guys have got to be. We're in our. We're in our. We're at 56 years old. 51 years old. And we don't have children. We spent too much time in a hot tub. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm fucking. I've had look, gallons of yellow number five a day since I was fucking 16. I, we look younger than we say, but we've had a lot of work done. We've gotten a lot of work done. I, I don't know if you can tell. I've got, I'm wrinkleless. I go weekly to a doctor who inflates me to just p- tighten all my wrinkles. It's not weight. It's not weight. That's it's all not air. I'm 109 pounds. <laughs> I've got a fucking 41 inch vertical and a four inch cock. <laughs> you gotta keep it tight. You gotta keep it looking good. Look if you how young go. we look. Yeah. We're on all kinds of stuff. Cel- are you familiar with colostrum, the ingredient found in breast milk? <laughs> We are on colostrum uh, uh, 24-7. Yeah, we have colostrum IVs straight from a nipple into our veins. (laughs) We keep it frozen. Our freezers are all all colostrum. Full of women's tits. (laughs) Yeah, we We got a freezer off a Dahmer estate sale. (laughs) All the fucking heads. (laughs) Holes drilled in them already. So we just threw the heads in the fucking Uh, duffel bag like the movie. Anyway, we got a two-bedroom room apartment. Oh, dude, it's sick. We used to have three guys in there. We share one of the rooms now, because Carson Daly moved out. <laughs> yeah, he couldn't he take off. Fun- we turned it into a weightlifting room uh, slash self-tape room. Yeah, it's our self-tape studio, so when, you know, when the Skeezy B, Sleazy B, what is it? Skeezy B? I think so. <laughs> yeah, when Skeezy B's in there hitting the lat pull-downs, I'll be self-taping for assorted, uh, you know, commercials and shit like that. <laughs> Still I'm trying to get this anything. Dubai water park shit, but I think they're going to go with Momoa. Yeah. 
it's fucking, and we could use the cash. We could really use the cash. I'm We're sorry if I'm a little lap. stiff. I just got two of my vertebrae fused. I yeah. snapped my neck going down a water slide at Hedonism 12. <laughs> we were at Hedonism. You guys familiar? The sucking and the fucking, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we were there a couple of years. We tried to turn that into a show. Didn't take off. Nope, we could not sell that anywhere. We had a huge deal at Quibi, but they wouldn't go WGA. They insisted it be IATSE, so we backed yeah, out. We're hardcore <laughs> union guys. <laughs> Where you, you're union guys. We came up in the beach house, you know, reading the teleprompter, fucking taking quaaludes with the Baja men. It was the fucking, it was the MTV in the 90s, man. That shit was fucking for real. Dr. G was in the fucking house. Sorry, we're wearing shades. It's not because of the bright lights. We just both recently had our teeth, assholes, and eyeballs bleached to make them white. The whiter pop. your teeth, eyeballs, and asshole are, the tanner the rest of your body looks. <laughs> It's like chiaroscura lighting, like Caravaggio. I was an art minor. <laughs> and we're trying to keep up with the tech. We're trying to keep things moving. We've got a tan filter that we tried to put out. Yeah, the tan filter got us. We it got, got some us hot water, water. water. And yeah. NAACP yeah. told us to they take came it down. down hard on us. <laughs> yeah, it was weird. Led to some uh, <laughs> misunderstandings. <laughs> Sorry, just blowing past about five or six things I shouldn't say. Uh, <laughs> remembering it's being recorded in that moment. Because, you know, we're in a class action lawsuit right now with uh, Bed Bath & Beyond. Yeah. We returned a bunch of cum-crusted towels. <laughs> and their class action lawsuit against us. All the employees that were there that day said, have PTSD. Yeah, it's a fucking joke. And now they're saying they're going out of business. Oh, we're not okay. letting them off the hook that easy. No. We want our fucking money back. Give us our fucking money. We've been to the beyond. We know no. it. Okay. And if the, the sheets had any durability to them at all, they would have been able to withstand that crust. I know. For real. We came in, it was like a fucking pizza box, rock hard. So we have to fucking bend it over our knee to get it through the door. It cracked it in. You guys jizzing on towels? Yeah, that's right. We're looking for anybody to start renting our second bedroom. We're in financial distress. We're, yeah, we're a little tight. It's... The curtain, you know, you have access to the bathroom on your side if anyone wants it. It's a trailer in Daytona. If you want to tweet at, if you want to tweet at us, I'm at Chexmix on Twitter. I got, I got ahead of them thinking I'd be able to sell it to them, and they yeah. were like, "We don't give a fuck they about bailed. this." They bailed so hard. I bought, I bought it for six hundred well, grand. I thought I was. I thought we I'd went in it. hard trying to get the names on Twitter early. We, we missed the boat early. We did the same shit with mm. URLs back in yeah. the day. Yeah. yeah. We got uh, Hmail thinking that would be huge, but we were off by one letter. Fuck. <laughs> YahooSerious.net. We made. We, put, we, we went, thought we could sell it to mm. Young Einstein. <laughs> you guys are really here with <laughs> Yahoo he, Serious. You guys know How his? old are you guys? <laughs> we'll buy beer for anybody. Oh yeah, we'll overcharge you. We'll buy beer for you, and we won't tell your teachers. We won't tell your teachers anything, and that's why we're not allowed in schools anymore. <laughs> Yeah, we did some work for uh, Pelicanos. You know George Pelicanos? Are you familiar with the crime writer? The fucking P.I., George Pelicanos? <laughs> we, we were doing work for Pelicanos. And taking, you know, taking fucking uh, beefcake shots and cheesecake shots. Some different celebrities yeah. fucking and shit. We got Clooney getting his face sat on by a mall. <laughs> so... <laughs> That was keeping so us going. So if anyone wants to buy that, where are we selling that? We're not selling that. We're doing a gallery display of some of our beefcake stuff. Uh, that that Clooney shot where he's uh, where I'm all sitting on his face, autographed by mm -hmm. Herschel Walker. If there's a red dot on it, it is sold. That'll be a hot item. 
So yeah, we are having a silent auction in the back. <laughs> we have uh, we have the belt from the robe that David Carradine had around his neck when he died. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got that. We were the first people on the scene. <laughs> yeah, we 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 were arguably there during and before it all. We went were down. running a workshop on how to auto erotically asphyxiate yourself. And uh, Carradine was like, "I'm fucking quite Chain King. I yeah. think I know what I'm doing." And we he were lives like, "On the edge." <laughs> he pumped the brakes there, brother, and. Kill Bill, indeed. <laughs> All right, well, that's our time. <laughs> we were waiting for a gap in your guys' laughter, so when we got that moment where you weren't saying anything or at all, we thought we'd get out of here. Uh, well, guys, be safe out there. It's spring break, after all. It's, <laughs> it's, it's spring break. Uh, uh, I think we've got dental dams at the exits. Yeah, we've got dental dams over the exits. We're gonna send, good luck getting yeah, out of here, yeah, motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah, you're We're stuck. setting this bitch on fire. Good night, everybody. Good night. Woo! Wow. Yeah. Holy smokes. I feel like they would definitely not let me into their party in college. Like, you don't whoa, think so? <laughs> You know, you know what I'm talking about. You didn't party with Dr. G and yeah, like <laughs> Keezy B and Dr. Doctor G. That's yeah. what it was. I don't know. Um, sweet. I, I think the show was a hit. Yeah. Thank y'all for coming. <laughs> thank you guys for coming. Yeah. Staying out so late. Also On a school night. Yeah. Also, shout out to the WGA. Shout yeah. out to y'all for supporting live comedy too. This is yes. This is the only way we'll fucking survive is people showing up to support live stuff and not fucking robots. So thank y'all for coming. I really yeah. Well, there it. are a few robots back there, but Could the majority imagine? of people, yeah, humans, and we <laughs> do appreciate it after there all. There was an artificial eye and there was an Aaron eye. What the fuck are you talking about, Doc? <laughs> His name was like Aaron Iroquois or something. I met him outside. He was an AI of sorts. Is he making this shit up? It's, you can't edit undo live stuff. Like, if this was the HeadGum podcast, i just edit that out later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This sucks. <laughs> <What's your book? laughs> um, but yeah, also come pick it with us. I don't know if people here in the WGA, but I'll be at Paramount tomorrow. Really? Yeah. What, what kind of stuff does your uh, sign say nowadays? <laughs> I haven't gone to <laughs> any of them yet. Thither. Oh, really? I just I started to get the emails yes, two days ago, so Got now it. I have to yeah. go. And now that you're thinking that you're a 10, what are you thinking sign-wise? Well, yeah, should we <laughs> spend another 30 minutes trying to figure out my sign? <laughs> what, should it, what should his sign say? What is it? Quick, su quick suggestions. Do you like the witty stuff? Or the oh! <laughs> that's that's I'm excited one. to be on strike. <laughs> that's the shee. one. Yeah. That's um, good. You got to end on good. that. That's the fucking Yeah, one. let's end on that. Yeah, thank you guys so much for coming out. Follow HeadGum on everything. Listen to the, all the HeadGum shows over here. Listen to High and Mighty with John Gabris. Uh, listen to Buckets. Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> <laughs> the NBA playoffs. And listen to... Uh, Austin Reeves. Oh, and Gaotic, Muna's new Woo! show. Yeah, oh yeah. That was a huge get. Uh, all right. Get home safe, Namaste. everybody. Ciao for now. That was a HeadGum original.